God in my life every day. Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. My Savior shall be honored in my life every day. Jesus shall be honored, might be honored, shall be honored. Deliverer shall be honored in my life every day. Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. My Savior shall be honored in my life every day. Jesus shall be honored, shall be honored, shall be honored. Rabboni shall be honored in my life every day. Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Jehovah shall be honored in my life today. Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Jehovah shall be honored in my life every day. Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Adonai shall be honored in my life every day. Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. My Savior shall be honored in my life every day. Oh, Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. My Savior shall be honored in my life every day. Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. My Savior shall be honored in my life every day. Jesus must be honored, must be honored, must be honored. Jehovah shall be honored in my life every day. Everlasting Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Thank you, Father. Receive our praise. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Thank you for the grace of three days Esther fast. Receive our praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you for what you are set to do in the new month. The month of November. Thank you, Father. Receive our praise. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Open with me to the book of Matthew. Yabaraki Zada. Yabaraki Sadada. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to the Father. Glory, glory to the Son. Glory, glory to the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sister Rita from Germany. Unmute yourself. Sister Rita from Germany. Open to the book of Matthew chapter 20. 
Glory, 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 glory to the Father. Glory, glory to the Son. Glory, glory to the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If Sister Rita from Germany is not available, Sister Tare from USA, hmm? unmute yourself. Thank you mightily. Good evening, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you in Matthew chapter 20? Yes, sir. What verse? Start from verse 1. Okay. I'll be reading from the book of, um, from the NKJV version. Verse 1 to verse 16. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. Now when he had agreed with the laborers for a denarius a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said to them, you also go into the vineyard, and whatever is right, I will give you. So they went. Again, he went out about the sixth and the ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and, find, and found others standing idle and said to them, Why have you been standing here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one hired us. He said to them, You also go into the vineyard, and whatever is right, you will receive. So when evening had come, the owner of the vineyard said to his steward, Call the laborers and give them their wages, beginning with the last to the first. And when those came who were hired about the eleventh hour, they each received the denarius. But when the first came, they supposed that they would receive more, and they likewise received each a denarius. And when they had received it, they complained against the landowner, saying, These last men have worked only one hour, and you made them equal to us who have been born the boarding, who have borne the boarding and the heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for a denarius? Take what is yours and go your way. I wish to give this last man the same as you. Is it not lawful for me to do what I wish with my own things? Or is, it your, or is your eye evil because I am good? So the last will be the first and the first last. For many are called, but few chosen. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. The Lord bless you, daughter, for the reading of the word of God for us. Amen. May that word germinate and bring bounty harvest of fruits in our lives. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. You can now mute yourself, daughter from America. Hallelujah. Verse 16, let everybody put their finger in verse 16. And we will read it together. Let everybody put their finger in verse 16. So, the last shall be the first. And the first last for so for many be called, but few be chosen. So the last shall be the first. And the first last. For many be called, but few are chosen. I welcome you to the month of chosen few. We are stepping into the month of chosen few. 
a month of divine choice. A month of the late comer. Listen attentively to me. Who is a late comer? Who is a late comer? A late comer, just like the name <laughs> implies, is that person that comes late to the place of appointment. A late comer is that person that came late to the place of divine appointments. If you are sickly, when everybody around you are hale and hearty, you are a late comer. If all your mates, your age mates, your peers have all married and you are still single, you are a late comer. If all the blessings of life eludes you, you are a late comer. If you are under grinding poverty, grinding affliction with ailments, you are a late comer. But this month we are about to step into now. Shall be the month of the late comer. David was a late comer. The last one in his family. David was a late comer. The prophecy concerning him, concerning his enthronement, has been released since Genesis chapter 49. But because he was a latecomer, the first one that came was Saul, the Benjaminite, who is not a Judite. The scepter of rulership shall not depart from Judah. He departed. That scepter departed from Judah and landed in the hand of a Benjaminite called Saul. Saul became the first king. The scepter. If you go back to the book of Samuel and read the scriptures, God was very reluctant in appointing a king for Israel. But they were too much in a hurry. They can't wait for David. Maybe David was not yet born. They couldn't wait for the birth of David. So they had to force the hand of God to give them a king. God was very reluctant because it was not the appointed time. But Israel was desperate for a king. They said all the nations around them, all of them have a king. Why must they have a judge called Samuel? They want their own king. God was reluctant. God didn't want to give them a king. David was a late comer. The scepter shall not depart from Judah 
until Shiloh come. That scepter departed and landed in Benjamin. David was a late comer. David should have been the first king of Israel. I don't know what late comer situation has been in your life. I don't know what late comer situation wants to enter the month of November with you. But it is written, the last shall be the first, and the first last. For many be called, only few shall be chosen. I want you to place that mantle upon your head now and make these prophetic declarations with me. Every late comma situation in my life, every embarrassing late comma situation in my life, be overthrown now. I overthrow you by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every embarrassing late comma situation in my life, Every embarrassing late comma situation in my life, in my marriage, in my career, in my family, in my finances, I overthrow you by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Every late, every embarrassing late comma situation in my life. Every embarrassing late comma situation in my life. In my career. In my family. In my business. In my, in my job. In my destiny. In my family. I overthrow you by the power in the blood of Jesus. Overthrow, 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 overthrow them now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessed be your holy name. The last shall be the first. The first last. Saul was the first. God had to overthrow Saul. For David to ascend the throne. Eliab was the firstborn, lanky, well built, muscular. David was the lastborn. They call him stripling. God had to, God said, I have rejected him. Whoever has stolen your place in destiny, they shall be rejected. They shall be overthrown for your sake, for your ascendancy, for your enthronement in Jesus' mighty name. Every power, every personality, every spirit occupying your throne of destiny shall be rejected and be overthrown for your enthronement this season in Jesus' mighty name. It's a mystery. 
Many are called. Saul was called. But Saul was not chosen. God's divine choice is David. Few are chosen. I am congratulating you for being among the few that will be chosen in this 11th month. One local musician sang a popular song in my native language that will interpret for you. He said you can't find two kings or two captain in a palace. But officers of the palace, chiefs, they are innumerable. You can't find two captains. The captains are chosen. The kings are few. The citizens are multitude. Obaikpe meji lafi. Ijo yele pe thousand lafi. You can't find two kings in one palace. They are too few. But you can have chiefs in thousands. Forgive me for using my native language to sing that song. I just want to emphasize, many be called, but few are choosing. We are entering a very dangerous month. Some people will be overthrown for your enthronement. Some powers will be pushed aside for your ascendancy. Many be called, few be chosen. And do you know the beauty of that mystery? The few that are chosen are late comers like David. David wasn't the firstborn. David wasn't the first king of Israel. Every time you talk about Israel, you cannot but do talk about David. Hallelujah. Many be called, but few are chosen. Welcome to the month of the chosen few. Congratulations for you among the few that are chosen. Welcome to your month of divine choice. You will never suffer rejection again by reason of the anointing coming upon you in this service. No more rejection. No more condemnation. No more reproach. No more demotion. No more stagnation. I saw very beautiful testimonies. And I know many of you have read that. How people break eight years stagnation in one spot in the same salary. One of them, they double their salary. It's your season for ascendancy. It's your season for enthronement. Chosen few. You can't have to. All of us cannot be kings. <laughs> I repeat that. All of us cannot be king. If everybody is a king, who will they rule over? Your season of ascendancy is here. Your season of chosen few. Your season of divine choice is here. Many be called. Few are chosen. The few that are chosen are going to be the rulers over the multitudes. Welcome to your palace of Judah. Welcome 
to your palace of Shiloh. Welcome in Jesus' mighty name. Many be called. Few are chosen. And those few are late comers. For the first shall be the last. And the last become first. We are still in Matthew chapter 20. Thank you, Father. I'm giving you the keys of the kingdom. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man that is a householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, everybody say a penny a day. A penny a day. Everybody say agreement is agreement. Everybody say agreement is agreement. Lay your mantle on your head and pray this next prayer. Every agreement. Contrary to my prosperity, contrary to my ascendancy, contrary to my enthronement, you must mention those three things. Every agreement, contrary to my prosperity, every agreement, contrary. to my ascendancy, every agreement, contrary to my hatred, in this season, break to pieces, shatter to pieces, by the power in the blood of Jesus, shatter, shatter, break, break and shatter, 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 Break and shatter every agreement contrary to my prosperity. Every agreement contrary to my ascendancy. Every agreement contrary to my enthronement. In this new month, I'm stepping into by the power in the blood of Jesus. Break and shatter. Break and shatter. Break and shatter. Break and shatter. In the name of Jesus. Break, shatter. Break, shatter. Break, shatter. Break, shatter. Break, shatter. Break, shatter. Break and 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 shatter. Riba da ga da ga mo se kaya bata kamereta. Break and shatter. Break and shatter. Break and shatter. Break and shatter. Break, shatter. Break, shatter. Break, shatter, break, shatter, break, shatter, shatter, scatter unto desolation. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, ha, ha, ha. When he had agreed with the laborers, every agreement of slavery. Every agreement of demotion, every agreement of bankruptcy. Are you still there? Every agreement of slavery, every agreement of bankruptcy, every agreement of failure and poverty. Fashioned against my destiny. In this season, in this new month, by the power in the blood of Jesus, break and shatter, 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 break, 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 
shatter, break, scatter unto desolation. In Jesus' mighty name. Obasakateri bosia. Yabakasi kayamaga. Agreement of failure. Agreement of bankruptcy. Agreement of demotion. Agreement of poverty. Fashioned against my rising. Fashioned against my enthronement. In this new month, break and shatter, break and shatter, break, 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 shatter. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Daddy. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's go back to that agreement. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them to his vineyard. Those are the first commas. Say first commas. Say it again. First commas. Say it again. First commas. I don't care what has happened to others between January and October. This November, that the year is almost going, remaining 61 more days, the things God will do in your life, you will shock all the people who have been dancing with breakthrough from January to October. Get ready, for it is the time of the late commerce. Get ready, for it is the season and month of the late comer. The first shall be the last. The last shall be the first. For many, January to October is many. Many are called, but few are choosing at the eleventh month. And he went about the third hour. He went about the third hour and saw others hide, standing hide in the marketplace. Are you ready for the next prayer point? Are you ready for the next prayer point? Every power of stagnation. Rendering my life hide in the marketplace of life. Every power of stagnation. Tying down my life into idleness. In the marketplace of life, pay destroyed, pay destroyed, pay destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, every chance of stagnation, every shackles of idleness. Every chance of stagnation, every shackle of idleness, rendering my life useless in the marketplace of life by the power in the blood of Jesus. Break and shatter, 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 break. Shatter, break, shatter, break, shatter, break, shatter, scab, down unto desolation. In Jesus' mighty name. Yabake sekebuse kiabakateza. They were standing idle, the second commas. The first commas have gone to the fire to work since mornings. Since 6 a.m. See, second commas are at 9 a.m. How can you be idle at 9 a.m. in the morning when everybody is going to work? 
whatever have stolen your labor. Because when your labor is stolen, there is nothing to do. Whatever powers have stolen your job, whatever powers have stolen your finances, whatever powers have stolen your business, whatever powers have stolen your staff of bread, they shall surrender them to you and be expelled from your labor in Jesus' mighty name. They stood high do. Hallelujah. At 9 a.m. in the morning, the third hour of the day. And he said unto them, Go ye also. Are you still there? Go ye also into the vineyard. And whatsoever is right, I will give you. And they went their way. For the first commerce, he gave them an agreement. When he had agreed a penny a day for them. For the second commerce, no agreement today. No agreement tomorrow. He didn't give them any agreement. Did you know why? They weren't qualified for agreements. Work starts at 6 a.m. It will be like cheating if they agreed the same price with people who have been working for the past three hours. He said, whatever is due to you, I will give. He didn't tell them what that one is. There was no agreement. You either accept or remain idle. That shall not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Let's go to the third commas. Verse 5. And again he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise. The third commas and the fourth commas. The sixth and the ninth hours. The people he saw in the marketplace, I do, at 12 noon. The people he saw in the marketplace at 3 p.m. Everybody is about to close. So people have started working since 6 a.m. In those ancient times, it was a 12-hour working day, not 8 hours. How can some people start work at 6 a.m.? Some people are still high do as at 3 p.m., night hour. He didn't give them any agreements to. Hello? He did not give them any agreement. He said, go and join them. Whatever is right. He did likewise. Whatever I feel right, I will give you. Are you still here with me? Hallelujah. And about the 11th hour. Everybody said 11th hour. 11th hour is six, 5 p.m. By 6 p.m., everybody will close for her work. People have started working from 6 a.m. They, they are most likely to close at 6 p.m. But at 5 p.m., that is the 11th hour. Everybody say 11th hour. 11th hour. Let's come you can't call them first commas. You can't call them second commas. You can't call them third or fourth commas. They don't have rank. I don't know where you are working. I don't know the organogram of your office or department. I don't know. I don't know the ranking. But something is coming upon your life. In this new month we are about to step to. You shall be ranked above all of them. Unto him that is able to do. It's unto him that is able to do. 
exceedingly, abundantly, above all, say it, above all, above all, above all, above all, above all, above all we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Hallelujah. Above all, I don't care the organogram in your office or department. I don't care whoever drew that organogram. Listen to me. You are entering your month of enthronement, your month of ascendancy, you, your month of the chosen few, your month of divine choice. Nothing will demote you. Nothing will reduce you. You are going higher. I say you are going higher to high places. You will walk upon your high places in this new month. It's a month of high places. The Lord will convert your feet into the swiftest feet of a deer. You will climb mountains as if you are running in a valley. You will climb mountains without sweat in this new month. Every mountain of impossibility, you will ascend them without a sweat because the feet washing service that is coming is a water of conversion that will convert your feet into the feet of a deer and you will walk and ride upon your high places. So ahead of time, I declare unto you, this new month you are stepping into shall be unto you your month of high places, your month of high places, your month of high places in Jesus' mighty name. At about the eleventh hour, the late common hour, the hour that everybody has given up. I've taught you that song. If you don't know it, go and write it down. Through how the month, if every time you sing that song, that song will become a prayer in your mouth. And the God of high places will answer your song prayer in Jesus' mighty name. If you have not written down that song, write it down. Through how the 30 days of November, that shall be your anthem, your anthem of promotion. Your anthem of enthronement, your palatial anthem. I'm not giving all another. I'm not giving all another. My God is doing again more than before. I'm not giving all. Another, I'm not giving up. Another, my God is doing again more than before, more than before. I'm not giving up, 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 not giving up. I'm not giving up another. Another chance for your promotion is coming. I'm not giving up another. My God is doing again more than before. I'm not giving up another. Even when you don't know what to pray again, and you have tried everything, just remember that song and begin to dance with joy unspeakable, full of glory. I'm not giving up another. 
I'm not giving up another. My God is doing again more than before. I'm not giving up another. I'm not giving up another. My God is doing again more than before. Not giving up, not giving up, not giving up, not giving up, not giving up. I'm not giving up another. I'm not giving up another. My God is doing again more than before. I'm not giving up another. You will not give up until Shiloh come. You won't give up your scepter. Your scepter shall not be stolen from you. That scepter of Judah shall not depart from your hand until Shiloh come. Perpetual, permanent scepter of Judah. Hallelujah. Let's look at what happened to the last comma, the late comma. And I'm in verse 6 of Matthew 20. And about the 11th hour, he went out. If you are a student of pattern, God is speaking to you now. Cancer, kill your mother. And you are feeling traces or some medical verdict. I've said you have cancer too. Say evil pattern. Your mother was a single parent. Your dad abandoned her. Your whole case is almost like that. You two have become a single parent. No husband. Your mother told you that after marriage, she was barren for the first 15 years. And you are in your sixth year, tenth year of marriage. You said, since my mother said it's 15 years, it remains five more years. Say evil pattern. There was a pattern. It came the third hour. It came the sixth hour. It came the ninth hour. Can you establish a pattern of theory? Hourless cycle. Every three, three hours, he come again. That's a pattern. If Rabboni had followed that pattern, everybody say with me that my God is a pattern breaker. My God is a pattern breaker. My Rabboni is a pattern breaker. If he has stuck to that pattern, he will show up his face in the marketplace until all workers have been paid and everybody has gone. Maybe when he too is going home, he will just pass through the market, not to recruit anybody. If he has stuck to that three hour left hour, he came, third hour, ninth hour, twelfth hour, I mean, third hour, sixth hour, twelfth, third hour, sixth hour, ninth hour, after the ninth hour, if he stopped to that pattern, he will have come at 12th hour when nobody works. He said people work only the day. The night comes when no man can work. He said that in the book of John 11. The night comes. He said, are there no 12 hours in a day? 
If a man walk in the light of the day, he stumbleth not. The night cometh when no man can walk. You will not miss your day season. Even if you remain one more hour, you will not miss your blessings for the year 2020s. Corona or no corona. Even if you are in the 11th month, even if you are a late comer to breakthrough, your whole season has come. I say your whole season has come. If you are ready, put that mantle on your head for the next prayer point. Every pattern of failure, every pattern of barrenness, every pattern of incurable ailments, Every pattern of shame and reproach. Every pattern of condemnation and rejection. Every pattern of sorrow and money. Every pattern of failed marriage, every pattern of failed relationship, every pattern of poverty, every pattern of divorce, every pattern of untimely death, Every evil pattern from my ancestry troubling my life and family by the power in the blood of Jesus. Break and shatter, break and shatter, break and shatter, break and shatter, break, shatter, break, shatter, scatter, 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 break and shatter. Break and shatter, break and shatter, break and shatter, break and shatter, break and shatter in Jesus' mighty name. Rabboni broke that three hourly cycle. Jesus broke the pattern of failure, the pattern of rejection, the pattern of stagnation. Let's see how he broke it. So that we can plug into his, into his own divine pattern. I'm reading verse 6 again. And about the 11th hour, he went out and found others standing idle. 11th hour, the day is gone. The sun is already setting. And found others standing idle. And said unto them, Why stand ye idle all day? Why stand ye here all day idle? Every arrow of all day idle fired into my life and family. Every arrow of all day I do. Fired into my life and family. Backfire. Backfire. Turn back to your senders. Turn back to your senders. Arrows of all day I do. Troubling my life and family. Fired against my life and family. Go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, fire, back fire, back fire, back fire, back fire, go back, go back, back fire, back fire, go back, go back, back fire, back fire, go back, go back, go back, back fire, back fire, back fire, back fire, all day high do laros, back fire, back fire, back fire, go back to your senders in Jesus mighty name. Go and kill your senders in Jesus mighty name. Every arrow of all day I do. 
Some people are not holidays, oh. Every arrow of all months I do. Some people have been, I do not just for one year. Many years. Hallelujah. Every arrow of all years I do. Every arrow of all years, all months, all years I do. Gather yourself together. Go back and kill your senders. I am not your victim. In the name of Jesus, arrows of all years, all months I do. Why stand ye all day I do? He didn't tell the people of the third hour. He didn't tell the people of the sixth hour. He didn't, because this case, I don't know whether your case have not reached chronic points. It's the chronic cases that God wants to deal with now. You will wash away that chronic demotion, chronic rejection, chronic poverty, chronic barrenness, chronic incurable ailments. These waters of high places shall wash them away. You will gain a new faith and ascend to your high places. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe you have fetched your waters because every prophetic utterance coming through my mouth by the Holy Ghost is power. Let those power begin to soak those waters now. This is not time for religiosity. This is the best time for that water in your basin to be soaking before you put your feet. Every arrow of all day I do. Every arrow of all months I do. Every arrow of all years I do. Gather yourself together now. Go back to your senders. Tell your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back, 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 back fire, 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 back fire. Tell your senders in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. Why stand ye here all day I do? All week I do? All month I do? All years I do? The shackle of chronic stagnation is permanently destroyed in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. I say the shackle of chronic ailments Chronic barrenness, chronic poverty are permanently destroyed, 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 destroyed in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Why stand ye here all day I do? Then verse 7. See what they said. Everybody has a reason. Everybody has an excuse for failure. Tonight, all your excuses of failure, excuses for barrenness, reasons for poverty, they shall be drowned to death in that waters of the high places. The motion will not follow you to this high place you are going. In this new month, in Jesus' mighty name, 
I said, the motion will not follow you into this ascendant throne in Jesus' mighty name. See their excuse. Verse 7. They said unto him, What are you saying? They said unto him, They said unto God. Some people are not afraid to say nonsense to God. How much more to their friends, associates, and family members? They said unto him, Every negative things that has come out of your life, concerning your life, Today, they are reversed and converted to positive in Jesus' mighty name. Every negative utterance that you have said that has come out of your life against yourself, today, they are reversed, 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 reversed. Reversed and converted to positive in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Let us hear what they said. Yabareke Verse 8. Verse 7. They said unto me, they said unto him, Because no man has hired us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There is somebody listening to me now on this fearsome and fiery altar. Who have said that one? Because there is no employment. Because they didn't hire us. There is nothing we can do. They say it's a season of employment. They said there is recession. They can't hire anybody now. You have used your mouth to say all manner of negative nonsense. But thus said the Lord concerning you. You shall become the one that hired labor. You shall become an employer of labor. Exceeding abundance is coming unto you. By this feet washing service. I say you shall become an employer of labor. At the dimension of exceedingly, abundantly, exceedingly, abundantly, exceedingly, abundantly, in Jesus' mighty name. They said, because no man had hired us, that shall not be your testimony again. Your testimony is changing. You will be the one that hire labor. You will not beg with resume and curriculum by tie going from place to place to be hired. You shall become the one that higher labor. Every fear of success injuring you or locking you down in failure, they are shattered. They are destroyed. They are drowned to death in the river of the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, every fear of success that has locked you and tied you down in failure, that fear is destroyed now. I said that fear is destroyed now. It's your time to ascend, 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 ascend to your success. Ascend to your throne of success. In Jesus' mighty name. They said unto him, because no man had hired us. And he said unto them, go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, ye shall receive. Whatsoever is right, ye shall receive. I want you to wave that mantle now. I 
I want you to begin to wave that mantle now and say after me, you mantle of hidden riches. Oh, thank you. Brother Kaluibe, God bless you. I saw that you are waving more than one, and I have three here. I better wave all the three with me too. The Lord bless you, sir. Amen. You mantle of hidden riches. You mantle of true riches. Today, I declare by faith, you become the mantle of whatsoever. You become the mantle of whatsoever is right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You become the mantle of whatsoever is right. Every time I smite you against anything wrong in my life, you mantle of whatsoever is right, you will bring the right things to my life. In the name of Jesus. If I smite you against sicknesses, you will bring the right else for my life. If I smite you against anything that symbolizes poverty in my house or in my life, you will bring the right wealth, the right riches into my life. If I smite you against a certificate that I've not been able to get work, that certificate will make me an employer of labor. You will bring only the right things into my life. Today I declare by violent faith, you mantle of hidden riches. You have become the mantle of whatsoever is right. I declare that you have become the mantle of whatsoever is right. The mantle of whatsoever is right. Nothing wrong shall remain in my life. Every wrong thing in my life shall fade away by reason of the mantle of whatsoever is right. Because it is written, I will give unto you whatsoever is right. My life, my life, my life begin to magnetize whatsoever is right for my destiny. Begin to magnetize whatsoever is right for my family. Begin to magnetize whatsoever is right for my labor. You begin to magnetize whatsoever is right for my career. You begin to magnetize whatsoever is right for my ministry. Magnetize, 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 magnetize in Jesus' mighty name. This day, you the mantle of whatsoever is right. I deposit the magnet of Shiloh into you. For unto Shiloh shall all the nations be gathered. You, the mantle of whatsoever is right, this very day, I deposit, I deposit, I deposit the magnet of Shiloh, 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 magnet of Shiloh unto you. I deposit the magnet of Shiloh unto you. For unto Shiloh shall all the nation be gathered. Unto Shiloh shall all the gifts be gathered. Unto Shiloh shall all the tributes be gathered. Unto Shiloh shall all the promotions and favors be gathered. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Hallelujah. I congratulate everybody. Happy new month to you. Happy new month of November. I say happy new month of November. 
your month of divine choice, your month of divine enthronement, your month of the palace of skeptics. Welcome. This is your month of chosen few. Your month of high places. In Jesus' mighty name. Happy new month to everybody. Now let us go to verse 8 and 9. Before we go into ministration. Before we go into other ministrations. And he said unto them, verse 8, verse 7. He said unto them, go ye also into the vineyard. And whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. Take the next prayer point. I plug my life. I plug my family into the socket of divine vineyard. I plug my life and family into the socket of Rabboni's vineyard. In the name of Jesus, every fruit of the vine, choice wines, blood of grapes, shall answer to me. The choicest wine shall answer to me because my life and family is permanently, they are permanently plugged into the sockets of Rabboni's vineyard, into the sockets of divine vineyard into the sockets of Rabboni's vineyard. So be it in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So let's go to verse 8 now. Hallelujah. Verse 8. So when evening was come, that's at 6 p.m., some people worked for 12 hours. Take notes. Some people worked for 9 hours. Some people worked for 6 hours. Some people worked for 3 hours. The late comma that has no organogram that does not show up in that organogram of the vineyard, he worked for how many hours? Only one hour, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. When evening was come, and the Lord of the vineyard said this prayer with me, my father and my God, you are the Lord of the vineyard. My Father and my God, you are the Lord of the vineyard. Increase me exceedingly, abundantly. Increase me exceedingly, abundantly. With the bumper harvest of your vineyard, in this month of November, my Father, my God, you are the Lord of the vineyard. You are the Lord of the vineyard. Increase me exceedingly, abundantly, with the bumper harvest of your vineyard. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, you are the Lord of the vineyard. In this new month of November, I shall not suffer famine. I shall not suffer lack. I shall not suffer scarcity. I have plugged the socket of my life and family into the socket of your vineyard. Therefore, in this new month of November, increase me exceedingly 
abundantly, exceedingly, abundantly, exceedingly, abundantly, with the bumper harvest of thy vineyard, with the bumper harvest of thy vineyard, in Jesus' mighty name. When evening was come, we are still in verse 8. When evening was come, the Lord of the vineyard said unto the steward, he called the supervisor, call all the laborers and give them their hire, beginning from the last. <laughs> I know you didn't hear that one. Beginning from the last. If I were you, and I know I am a latecomer, some things ought to have happened, good things, they are yet to happen. You are a latecomer. I will mention that word that Raboni mentioned 21 times. And I will be slapping my chest, beginning from the last, 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 beginning from the last. Beginning from the last, 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 in Jesus' mighty name. Beginning from the last. He was the last to come. He was the first to be paid. My father and my God. Activate your divine formula of Lifeful. Anybody who is an accountant will know what I mean by lifeful. Last in, first out. They use that in the world, accounting world. They use it to cheat people. If lifeful, L I F O, last in, first out. In the world, it's a negative thing. If you are the last to be employed, whenever they want to return, you that came last is the first day we kick out. But the account of heaven is different. The accountant of heaven say the first shall be the last. And the last first. Beginning from the last. Beginning from the last. My father and my God. My father and my God. My father and my God. You are the chief accountant of heaven. I am a child of the kingdom of heaven. And you are the chief accountant of heaven. On my behalf, for my sake, as a late comer. On my behalf, for my sake, as a late comer. On my behalf, for my sake, as a late comer. Activate your divine life for, for my sake. I am the last to come. Begin your breakthrough with me this month. Make me number one to receive breakthrough this new month. I am a late comer. I am a proud late comer. I am not ashamed of my lateness. The first shall be the last. I am the last. I shall become first. Beginning from the last. Beginning from the last. Last in, first to be blessed. Last in, 
first to be paid. Last in, first to be promoted. Last in, first to enter breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, beginning from the last, activate your divine formula. Life for, life for. Last to come, first to be promoted. The last shall be the first. Activate that divine formula for my life. Activate that divine formula for my family. Activate that divine formula for my ministry. Activate that divine formula for my children. Activate that divine formula for my business. Activate, 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 activate in Jesus. Mighty name. Thank you, Father. We are still in verse 8. Beginning from the last unto the first. And when they came that were hired about 11th hour, everybody say, let's come. Everybody say, let's come. Verse 9. And when they came that were hired about the 11th hour, the last to be hired, the last to be hired, beginning from the last, they received every man a penny. Let me do that simple arithmetic for you. If they are paying everybody $12,000, hypothetic figure, for one day's work, all you need to do, anybody that works six hours, what do you do? You give them $6,000. Anybody that work three hours, you give them $3,000. Anybody that work nine hours, you give them nine, $9,000. And the people that work 12 hours, we collect their complete money. The man that should collect $1,000 because he worked only one hour, they gave him the same amount that they gave people who have worked 12 hours. He agreed a penny a day. Everybody say 12-fold. I don't know what you are due for. Hello? I don't know what you are due for. But this 11th month, as a latecomer, you will receive 12-fold. 12-fold blessings. If God has ordained $3,000, to come into your life. Receive 12 fold. In the name of Jesus. 12 fold blessings. 12 fold blessings. Don't laugh at this one. The realm of faith is a crazy unfathomable state. If you are due for one car. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah crazy. If you are due for one car this 11th month, receive 12 now. If you like, you can sell or give out. I am under the auction of crazy faith. If you are due for one car and you are contented, you are a late comer. They have given everybody who is high up in the organogram their own car, official car. Your own has not come. And you have long view because you are a late comer. Instead of giving you one, you will control 12 cars. I say you will control 12 cars. God will break the cycle and patterns for your sake. Rabboni is a pattern breaker. He will break that pattern. It has never happened in your organization. For your sake, it will happen this time. 12 Fold blessings. Yabaraba tai. Yabaraba tai. Araba se kayamagusa. In Jesus' 
mighty name. It is your time. He gave him a penny. The people that walked 12 hours, he gave them a penny too. Let's go back to that verse 9. And when they came that was hired about the 11th hour, that's the late comers, they received every man a penny. But when the first people came, the people that were hired at the first hour, 6 a.m. in the morning, who have labored, who have suffered, who have sweated, 12 hours, he gave them their due. How much? The same one penny. And there was an agreement. That's why I told you at the beginning, I said, say agreement is agreement. But when the first came, suppose that they should receive more. If you give a man that worked one hour, the salary of people who have worked 12 hours, it is natural for the people that work 12 hours to think they will get more. Maybe they will get 12 pennies. But he still gave them one penny. Let's continue. And they likewise received every man a penny. Verse 11. And when they had received their own, they murmured. Don't let me deceive you. And don't let anybody deceive you. If you receive 12 cars instead of, instead of one, there will be grumbling. There will be madness. There will be envy. There will be rage. There will be petition. Yeah, 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 yeah. There will be petition. There will be hunger. Yeah, ka, 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 They murmured against the good man of the house. What did they say? Verse 12. Saying, this last, this late comma, this last a fraught but holy one hour. He worked only for one hour. And thou hast made him equal unto us. You made the person that work one hour equal to those who have worked 12 hours. Unto horse which are born the burden of the heat of the day. They were saying the truth. Verse 13. But he answered them. He answered one of them and said, My friend. Everybody say, My friend. He said, My friend, I do thee no wrong. Did not thou agree with me for a penny? Say, Agreement is agreement. Are you ready to pray that prayer again? Every agreement of demotion, every agreement of poverty, every agreement of shame and reproach, every agreement of barrenness, fashioned against my fruitfulness, fashioned against my prosperity, break and shatter, break and shatter. By the power in the blood of Jesus, break and shatter, break and shatter, break and shatter. Break that agreement. Shatter that agreement. Scatter them unto desolation. In the name of Jesus, break and shatter, break and shatter, break and shatter. In Jesus' mighty name. Many of you, you don't know the reason for your stagnation is because of one evil covenant. One evil agreement. That is limiting your prospects, limiting your prosperity, limiting your potentials. Every ancestral agreement fashioned against my enthronement this month by the power in the blood of Jesus. Break and shatter, 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 break and shatter. Break and shatter. in Jesus. Mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. He finished them by agreement. A covenant is a powerful thing. Don't jump into a covenant without knowing the consequences. When he had agreed a penny a day with them, he said, go to the vineyard and work. You can't come back 12 hours later. I said, why did you pay somebody to make him equal with me? He worked only one hour. 
What is our agreement? Agreement is agreement. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. He answered one of them. He said, my friend, I do thee no wrong. I always do right. I'm a righteous God. I do thee no wrong. Did thou not agree with me for a penny a day? Take that. Thine is and go thy way. Every agreement of failure. Go thy way out of my life. Depart, 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 depart in the name of Jesus. Every agreement of barrenness. Go thy way from my life. Depart, 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 depart in Jesus' mighty name. Every agreement of poverty. Every agreement of sickness. Every agreement of high blood pressure. Every agreement of hypertension. Every agreement of ailments. Every agreement of hepatitis. Hear the verdict of fire. Go thy way. Depart from my life and family. In the name of Jesus. Depart, 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 depart. Go thy way. Depart from me, Jesus' mighty name. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Holy Spirit, thank you. Hallelujah. Go thy day, go thy way, for I will give unto this last, even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me? Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with my own? Is thy high evil because I am good? So the last shall be the first. The last shall be the first. And the first last. For many are called, few be chosen. The last shall be the first. Carry those mantle again. You the mantle of whatsoever. I decree and declare by violent faith. You have become the mantle of the late comma. You have become the mantle of the late comma. 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 Every late comma situation in my life, as I smite you with this mantle, you shall catapult me to the first. Beginning from the last. You shall catapult me to the first row. The first throw on the queue of blessings. The first throw on the queue of breakthroughs. The first throw on the queue of healing. I shall be the first to testify. The first throw, the first throw. Catapult, 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 catapult. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. It is time. I say it is time. If your waters are ready in their basins, ooh, sweet Holy Spirit, I thank you. If your waters are ready, say with me, I am ready to walk to my high places out of the dunghill of poverty. Out of the dunghill of sicknesses. Out of the dunghill of barrenness. Out of the dunghill of afflictions. I am ready to walk to my high places. 
the palace of Skeptas, the palace of Shiloh. I am ready for my enthronement. I am ready for a changed feet. Convert my feet into the feet of a deer that I may walk upon my high places throughout this month of November and beyond. In Jesus' mighty name, every water under the sound of my voice, I declare and declare by faith in the power of the Almighty God, by faith in the power in the blood of Jesus, I declare and declare you become the waters. You become the waters of high places. You become the waters of Shiloh. You become the waters of Skeptas. In the name of Jesus, as we dip our feet into these waters, Yabote kata 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 kayavasa. Every contrary spirit, every afflictions, every demotion, every poverty, every sicknesses, every ailment, everything that is contrary to prosperity in our lives, you are washed away and drowned to death in these waters, in the name of Jesus. You will not follow me to the high places of my glory. Everything that is wrong in my life, I washed you away into these waters of high places. In Jesus' mighty name, it is time. It is time. It is time to wash the dust of failure the dust of barrenness, the dust of sicknesses, the dust of reproach, the dust of demotion, wash them away. In Jesus' mighty name, the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, I declare these waters as the waters of Shio as the waters of high places, as the waters of deliverance, every feet that is failing that enters these waters shall become the feet of success. Every feet of stagnation that enters this water, the shackles of stagnation shall be broken to pieces and your feet shall become the feet of supernatural breakthroughs to carry you to the palace of breakthroughs in Jesus' mighty name. Every feet of failure, feet of reproach, you shall become a new feet. A feet, every feet of demotion shall become the feet of high places. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. God has an army marching through the land. Oh, 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 oh. Please wait, 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 wait. Listen to me carefully. Thank God I did not forget that your mantle, that your mantle, as you dip your feet in that water, just use your mantle to wash that feet. There is power inside that mantle. Any one of them, you don't need to use all of them. One is enough. Use it to wash your feet, and when you remove your feet, squeeze it. After you finish squeezing the water dry out of it, use the dry one to mop your feet, to clean your feet. It is done. It is done. 
It is done. In Jesus' mighty name. God has an army marching through their land. Deliverance is their songs. Healings in their wings. Everlasting joy. Life forevermore. In this army, I've got report. In this army, I've got report. God has an army <laughs> through the land. Deliverance in the songs. Healings in their wings. Everlasting joy. Life forevermore. In this army, I've got report. <laughs> In this army, I've got a part. Oh, yes, God has an army. Marching through the land. Deliverance is the songs. Healings in the wings. Everlasting joy. Life forevermore. In this army, I've got a part. In this army, I've got a part. God has an army marching through the land. Deliverance is the song. Healings in the wings. Everlasting joy. Life forevermore. Oh, in this army, I've got a part. Oh, in this army, I've got a part. God has an army. Marching through the land, the leaflets in the songs, he leads me the wings. Everlasting joy, life forevermore. In this army, I've got a part. In this army, I've got a part. God has an army. Marching through the land. Deliverance is the songs, it is in the wings. Everlasting joy, life forevermore. In this army, I've got a part. In this army, I've got a part. Oh, yes, God has an army. Marching through the land, deliverance is the songs. He leads me the yes. wings. Everlasting joy, life forevermore. In this army, I've got a pass. In this army, I've got a pass. Oh, yes. God has an army. Marching through the land. The deliverance is the song. He leads me the wings. Everlasting joy. Life forevermore. In this army, I've got a pass. In this army, I've got a pass. Oh, yes. God has an army. Marching through the land. Deliverance is the sun. Healing in the ways. Everlasting joy. Life forevermore. In this army, I've got a pass. In this army, I've got a fight. Oh, yes. God has an army. Marching through the land. Deliverance is the sun. He lives in the ways. Everlasting joy. Life forevermore. In this army, I've got a fight. Oh, yes. In this army, I've got a fight. Oh, yes. God has an army, marching through the land. Deliverance is the source, he lives in the ways. Everlasting joy, he lives in the ways. In this army, I've got the path. In this army, I've got the path. Oh yes, God has an army, marching through the land. Deliverance in the songs, healing in the wings. Everlasting joy, life forevermore. In this army, I've got the past. 
In this army, I've got a path. Oh, yes, God has an army marching through the land. The leaf sees their songs, healing in their wings. Everlasting joy, life forevermore. In this army, I've got the path. In this army, I've got the path. God has an army. Marching through the land, the deliverance sees their songs, healing sing their wings. Everlasting joy, life forevermore. In this army, I've got the path. 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 In Jesus mighty name, your path, your position in this end time army will not be stolen. Your position, your place in this end time army, your gavasekaya will not be aborted, will not be hijacked in Jesus mighty name. Your place in this victorious army, the army of high places, the army of Scepter, the army of the palace of Judah, your place shall not be missing. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Father. Receive our praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I set you forth in this new month. Go forth after the pro order of the prophecy that has gone on before you. Overthrow the first comers. Shine with your late comer. Beginning from the last. Beginning from the last. Beginning from the last. Go forth and excel. Go forth and be enthroned. Go forth and ascend, 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 ascend in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Receive our praise. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Father, we thank you. We are meeting again tomorrow at 10.30 for the Sunday service. Oh, it's no longer tomorrow. Forgive me. Happy New Month. First of November coincides with a rest day. Sunday is a rest day. Your rest will be undisturbed throughout this month. You will not suffer to enter breakthrough. You will not sweat to prosper. Twelvefold, what people do twelve times before they pass, you will do it one time. You will pass. You will excel. Some people have applied more than 12 times to different organizations. They are yet to be given an appointment. Yours will be once. You shall be divinely chosen. You shall be divinely appointed. It's your month of divine choice. It's your month of choosing few. Kings are few. The citizens are multitude. Go forth and rule this month. Go forth with authority and power this month and shine and shine, and shine in Jesus' mighty name. Congratulations to everybody. Happy new month to all of us. See you later in the morning by 10.30 for the Sunday service. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah.